Um, so as promised, uh, we are going to redo this uh, portion on uh, online. And uh, if any case, uh, if you guys want me to redo any parts, uh, just let me know, and I'll just provide the recordings accordingly. Accordingly. So today we'll be talking about query processing, and uh, what we are doing is the following. So we have talked a lot about this uh, so far about how, from a query, we come out with uh, with uh, with uh, how it passes, and then following after we pass it. It translates to relational algebra, it optimizes, gets the plan, and evaluates. Today what we'll be talking about is uh, what is the cost where what is the cost of evaluating the query. So we're gonna use uh, these uh, basic uh, definitions first. So we're gonna have the number of block transfers. Uh, we're gonna have the time it takes to transfer a block of data the number of uh, disk 6 or accesses and uh, the time it takes to access a block so if I'm going to transfer B blocks and S accesses it will be B times TT plus S times TS so uh, these are the other two uh, costs that uh, are included we are not going to consider this we are primarily only going to be talking about the disk access okay. So these are the main topics that we are going through. Uh, how do we do a selection? How do we do conjunctive, disjunctive selection? And also finally sorting. So uh, we have covered these two in our online uh, lectures, I think, uh, I think uh, last week. So today we will be just covering on this portion. So firstly, some revision. What is a primary index? What is a secondary index? So primary index is when the search key is, uh, or rather, is when the item is also ordered uh, when it's being stored as, maybe this example will help. So uh, for example, in this case, ID is being ordered. And so if we were to have an index on ID, sorry, index on ID, this will be a primary index. Conversely, if we look at department name, there's no out this is unordered, unordered. And so if we were to build an index here, because it is unordered, this will be a secondary index. Okay. So assuming uh, this as an example, assuming if ID is a candidate key, and the index is built on department is this considered the primary or secondary index so uh, you notice that there's no order in this this is unordered so although this is the uh, candidate key it doesn't make a difference so this will still be a secondary index this will be important as we uh, as we go along the various examples. So uh, this is the first example of a linear search. So uh, we're going to do. Let's see if we do a selection. The easiest way to do it is to carry out a linear search. And when we are doing a linear search, what we do is we just uh, scan and test uh, every block. So on, on naturally, this will be slower than other algorithms. So we are not using uh, they are, they are not using any no particular data structure and so this will be slower than uh, most uh, other algorithms so uh, the time it takes will be the initial seek this will be the initial seek and then this will be the time it takes to assess the blocks so if my relation relation this is relation R has uh, B R blocks. So this is the time that it will take for a linear seek. Okay, let's uh, go on. So if let's say we, we want to uh, build the index. So as we as we learned in the uh, one of the lectures that uh, when we are building an index, we us usually use they call it the B plus key. In the B plus key, you're gonna get things like uh, 
what essentially ha they have is you have a caches and this cache will go on to your actual uh, secondary memory so this will be the disk it will be uh, maybe a uh, cache 1 or cache 2 or index 1 and index 2 yeah index will be a better term index 1 index 2 and if we were to turn this around it will be in this form which in fact looks like a B plus 3 so that is the entire motivation behind the B plus 3 and why we are studying this and what we have in this example is that this is the primary index so we are primary index so it means that this runs in order so in this example it will be perhaps uh, like your ID which runs in order and what we are doing is we are doing equality on the candidate key which means that it only matches once because it is the candidate key so doing, doing an equality on ID which is a candidate key the blocks are stored uh, sequentially based on the ID ID is the candidate key and the primary index so firstly uh, we want to find out what is the cost of assessing that of the tree uh, so let's see so the cost of assessing that of the tree will be as what we see over here which is the height of the tree multiplied by the time of the seek sorry and the time that it takes to read the block so this will be the time it takes for us to get down to the leaf of the b plus 3 after we get to the leaf of the b plus 3 we then have to do one single seek and one single read why is it just one because this is a candidate key is the equality so there's only one such tuple in the tree so that's why it is just one over here and one over here okay so the cost of this will mainly be uh, the height times the uh, reading and the seeking plus the reading and the seeking of one single block let me write it out here it's a bit cut off okay okay so i increased the uh the size of the uh recording so uh this is now the second example whereby we have a uh we have a selection index base uh primary b plus three index equality on a non-candidate key it is pretty much similar than what we have before the only difference is that now it is an equality on a non-candidate key and so there are multiple uh, values that will be uh, that will be captured that need to be returned so an example is a uh, department name in this case department name is the uh, is the is the uh, category over here notice that this is ordered and uh, it's uh, sequential and ordered so uh, how do we get uh, how we how do we derive the cost of uh, uh, of this selection operation uh, so it is uh, for example is equality which is department or non candidate key the height of the tree is still the same which is the height of the tree uh, multiply by the time it takes to seek a block as well as to read the block what is now different is that right now i have to do an initial seek of my uh, of my of my of my tuple which is this first cost over here subsequently i need to read b blocks of data so uh, and each time it, each time it takes t t time to read one block of data and so in total the reading of all the tuples on uh, for this uh, kind of a selection will be ts plus b times t t uh, 
uh, why do we have uh, this uh, extra term over here as compared to the previous one it's because right now we have a non-candidate key and multiple tuples will now be returned and we also know that we also know that uh, we don't need to we only do one seek why because they are in order okay so just one seek will be sufficient okay let's move on so uh, right now we have a secondary b plus 3 index and the equality is on the non-candidate key so it gets uh, more and more uh, complex right now so right now we notice that it's secondary so uh, it is unordered equality or non-candidate key which means that there are many tuples returned so an example will be this whereby I'm trying to do a uh, selection on department name so it is both unordered and also it is a non-candidate key so in this case the height remains the same notice that the height remains the same which is the height of the tree plus the time it takes to read and to uh, seek a single uh, so called a block uh, so, yeah single block over here but what is now interesting is that instead of uh, the previous case whereby you have ts plus b times t of t right now i also need to multiply this by a b and the reason why because right now the tuples stored are not continuous so for every single block where's my mouse for every single block I need to do out another this SS so this additional so whereas in the previous one when we have the primary index I do not need to uh, I did not I do not need to do a, a, a seek every single time or need, need to do it once but if right now it is a secondary B plus 3 index I have to do it every single time uh, I have a new block and that's the reason that, that's the way we can uh, reason this out so uh, let's say uh, this is the primary b plus 3 and comparison uh, comparison uh, so uh, this is a primary uh, primary b plus 3 so it is in order comparison so it will be like where id is greater than or equals to uh, something Notice that we do not talk about whether is it a primary key or or, or is it or is it not because uh, it doesn't really make a difference because we're now doing comparison. So it is uh, uh, intuitive or rather it is uh, as implicit that uh, multiple values will be returned. But we know that this is a primary index so it is in order so this will be very very similar to one of the scenarios that we've seen earlier the height will always be the same so maybe you can think about this for a while uh, so the height will be the same uh, do we need to do a seek with every single block probably not correct why because we know that it is in order so we just need to do the seek of the so after we go down we go down to the right the uh, uh, to the height times t s plus t t after we do this we just need to carry out the first uh, seek and then we then need, need to read the rest of the blocks oh, sorry. that's all we need yeah because it is in order so we just need one for the first seek okay so uh, like what I mentioned earlier we just need the first one for the seek and the rest will be uh, number of blocks B multiplied by T or T okay hope this is clear 
Okay, let's look at the uh, next one, which is the secondary B plus 3 index. I'm going to do a comparison. And um, so, uh, so uh, think about this for a while. Uh, right now, the secondary index means it is not ordered. Just think about this. Uh, how would this be? So it is reasonable to say that this will be equals to this is again the height of the tree which is always going to be TT plus TS. So how about this? So it, it actually implies that I'm going to get a B plus tree and every single block I need to first do the seek followed by the read access and I need to do this for B blocks. Why? Because it is a secondary index. It is thought. Uh, it is not sequential, or rather, not ordered. That's what you see over in Sally here. So it is not ordered. So every single block, I will need to do a seek, and so it is B times T T plus T S, which we see over here. Okay. So uh, yeah, this is the end of this portion. Uh, the rest of the portions are covered in uh, one of the previous lectures. So uh, and it's online as well. So I will not go through this again. I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Thank you.